Hey guys and gals, MacLuke1974 back at you with another tutorial for Space Engineers. Today we're going to be covering wind turbines. Tutorial number three on our whole power spiel that we're doing here. So, you just landed in your pod. I am on the Earth like planet. Uh, I've got enough resources. I need to start making a base. So, all you need to make your uh, turbine is uh, interior plates, computers, girders, construction components, motors, and, and more interior plates. Now you can make all of that just where we can check this out. You can make all of that in your um, survival kit. You see everything's in here. So you either need to drill and get all your uh, your stone and refine it into all the objects you need or you can do be the smarter person and start grinding down a lot of your uh, your vessel a lot of stuff that doesn't you don't need like those uh, like all of these uh, you know basically everything that is not the survivor kit not your battery and not your O2 generator that also means that you can't separate these from the grid. So make sure when you are grinding your ship down, you don't actually grind uh, the floors that's holding these all together, these uh, three components here. They're just like that. Uh, for they separate, and now you'll no longer have your battery or your survival kit running off the same grid. So just keeping that in mind. So it's safe to get rid of the, uh, the thrusters, your, uh, your gears. There is actually another... Uh, hydrogen thruster under there that you can get rid of safely um, etc etc and that can get you on your way to making the basic assembler or your basic refinery and also firstly you will need the power which is uh, your wind turbine so let's go take a look at some examples I have put together all right so let's take a look at this lovely little thing I have set up here the first thing I'm going to look at is I've already set up these uh, turbines mostly when you're just starting out in survival you can build one of them and that's all you really need to run a basic assembler uh, a basic assembler or maybe even a refinery you're better off with two but uh, one will do for now um, so let's take a look at this so what I have done is I have two blocks high and a um, and a wind turbine Right here, I have two blocks separation, two blocks high. So there's two blocks separation between this wind turbine and this one. Right here, actually, I kind of messed this up tonight. It was supposed to be one block, but so we'll just kind of move over here. So <laughs> right here, we have three blocks separation. And right here, we actually, yeah, did I do that right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, three blocks separation. And then here, I have four blocks separation not including the fifth block that I made into the column. So let's take a look at the power output of all of these. We'll go in here and here. So those are wind turbines 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So wind, by, uh, wind turbine 2 is 192.79 kilowatts. Also keep in mind, they're all at the same height. That's why it kind of looks like that. So I, I, I made that important. So wind turbine 2 is at 192.79 kilowatts. That's not very much more than a solar panel. What, what's going on here? Well, let's move to number three, which is kind of strange because it's only at 209.53 kilowatts. Why is it higher? Well, I can tell you why it's higher. I believe that's because um, of the separation. Here, don't worry about that. I believe it's because of the separation. So, because I kind of messed up right here, but we'll just keep going on here. Uh, Two, so there we go. Uh, we go to wind turbine number four, and we're at 249. That's this one right here. And we go to number five, and we jump all the way up to 315. And we go to six, and we jump up to 343 kilowatts. So what? Why is it different? Well, the difference is the space that I made in here. So the closer you put your uh, wind turbines together, the worse they are. So, but there is a point where there's no return, and I have found that I think I believe that point of no return is five. Five, 
you're not going to get any better separation than that with the wind turbines. After five separation, it actually has to do with the height. And you can tell that we are actually pretty high. We're, we're on a high, pretty high mountain. So uh, we're getting about 300, you know, we were getting 100, what, 343 out of this one. That's pretty good for a wind turbine. And of course, because these are a little bit closer together, uh, we're losing some of that e efficiency. And you can kind of tell that this one's moving a little bit slower than this one, which is moving, you know, and now they kind of look like they're all moving at the same speed. So let's take a look at what we're seeing in um, this whole thing. So uh, I'm in the control panel. So the w it says wind turbine. Uh, it says max output is 192.79. That's the most we'll ever get out of it. The current output is 110 watts. Um, that's because of we don't really have anything pulling uh, the power right now. So uh, keep that in mind. And it says wind clearance is poor. So let's move over here. So number three, it says wind clearance is good. We still have good. We still have good. And now we have optimal. So when you're, you're hooking up your wind turbines, this is what you're looking for, optimal. Once you get to, I don't believe there's, I, I don't believe there's another, uh, a higher one, optimal or not. So uh, keep that in mind. Again, let's keep it, this is the optimal one on this part of the level of the grid. It's 343 kilowatts. Let's take a look over here. I've kept with the whole idea of having five. Actually, I kind of went more on this. I kind of threw this together. But again, I've kept them separate. The difference here is that I went higher. So we have this one that's higher plus our separation. Plus I went to this one that's just a little bit higher. So let's see what happens with those two. Go to the control panel. So this is the second highest, 343. Well, that's not any better than that one. So that's weird. And let's go to the second highest. Okay, so the max output is 343.11. So again, we're back, we're back at that. These three are all running at their max output, and they're the same. So, at a certain point for the wind turbine, height no longer matters, just the separation. So keep that in mind when you're building your thing. And I believe they still say they are optimal. Yep, optimal. So let's let's see what happens when we go lower. Let's go down in that valley down there. It's a lot lower than where these are, so we'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. So now we're our examples up there that we just are way up there. That's quite a big difference from down here to up there. So, so let's see what happens here. So in this situation, I have a wind turbine right here. It's one block above this one and there's nothing around it. So we should be getting 343 uh, kilowatts out of that, should we not? Let's take a look. No. And we only have a clearance of good. So that is different, isn't it? Let's, let's do some experimental things here. Let's make it a little bit higher. Let's, let's do the same way we do with um, separating it uh, sideways to top. So one, two, three, four. That's five. So I'll put that down there. Let's take a look at what we're producing now. 347.28 kilowatts. So, you know, that's pretty interesting because now we're producing the same amount as we are up there, but I am five high away from this bottom block. So is it a height thing or is something interfering with this block? Let's bring it back down three and let's see what happens. Control panel, 289. So we're losing our power. So let's, let's eliminate this completely. Let's get this out here like this. So now we're way away from there. We'll go right here and we'll go seven and uh, we'll see what happens here. What are we producing? 253. So let's go up one, seven. Now let's see what we're producing. 281. So we're actually gaining now. So four, 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 I went up, that's five. We'll go up six and we'll go up seven. 
I didn't mean to lose that. I'll go delete that. There we go. And I will look in here, control panel. Okay, so now we're at 280. Why are we at 280? What's the difference? Let's go up a couple more. Seven, there we go. And now what are we producing here? 350, wow, that's actually better than what we were producing up there. So it's, it's, it's a strange situation. It seems to have to do with height in some circumstances. We are kind of still high on this Earth-like planet. We are still kind of in the mountains. We're definitely not like at our lowest point. So height might have something to do with it. Do with it. But clearance obvious, obviously has, has a lot to do with what we are producing here. So let's see if that makes a difference. Nope. We obviously can't do anything inside of its own zone, but let's put something there. Three fifty four. So this is a uh, all right, this is interesting. Oh, now we we drop down. So we actually started interfering with the wind turbine when we started um, adding stuff, uh, not at the same level of it, but you know, at the same, you know, the block started actually causing problems, which corresponds to what we were doing up there. So, you know, keep that in mind. Um, you're going to get better coverage as long as you have that that separation and it looks like five blocks is the separation you're looking for in between them over here I have a couple common mistakes I have seen people do um, it seems like uh, let's see what are we what are we producing out of this uh, control solar panel we got that as a solar panel that doesn't matter uh, we got 195 let's see if if we delete the solar panel anything happens 195 so let's see what happens when we delete one of these. 195. Let's see what happens when we delete two of them. Control panel. Oh, now that's interesting. We jumped up. So uh, think about that for a second. Let's let's delete that one. Uh, control panel, wind turbine. 223. It went up again. Let's just completely get rid of everything above it and control panel and 223 so we're there so you know that's an interesting thing this is obviously two blocks high so when you block only one block high you do lose a little efficiency but when you do two block high you uh, you're actually causing even more of a d deficiency let's add three block high let's see if that does anything nope so what would happen if I took this to the next level and I blocked it like that? Uh, control panel, 167. So it dropped again. And then we go up. Uh, control panel, 139. So let's do the whole, look how slow, much slower that's moving now. Let's go up. One more, let's not really mess anything up. And production control panel, wind turbine. So, wow. So, that is the secret to so uh, these wind turbines. You don't want to be blocking them in any way around their general area. And it generally seems to be a five block radius around them, not below them but around them and it does make a difference how high you go obviously we covered that so you know keep that in mind and when you're uh, when you're building your wind turbines um, so that's it that's how the wind turbines work and now you know how to set them up you want to keep them separated a little bit and you do kind of want to put them higher it's it's hard to tell 
obviously we got that one the match that the max ones up there so we there could be like a max height thing that we don't I don't I'm not quite sure about myself but um, for now it looks like keeping them separate like that is your best option to keep going and obviously I showed you how to build them really quick take that take that drop ship apart to help you help you get your basic set up and you'll be all set in a survival game this is Malkuth 1974 everybody thanks for watching we'll see you later Malkuth out